Hey there, welcome back guys. This is part two in the series. If you watched the first part where we actually build the Pavo Pico drone by Beta FPV, then um, this is the second part where we're going to configure everything so that you can actually get your drone up in the air. So there's a little bit to it, but this is step by step in real time, what you need to do, what's actually happening um, from start to finish. So if you've already built the drone, great, then this video is for you. If you haven't built the drone yet, then watch part one and then jump into part two, which is this one, and we will get you up in the air um, if you watch this from start to finish. Okay, so let's get started. Just one more thing you gotta do, and uh, make sure you connect the drone back to the computer, okay? And so you should be here, see all this right here. Click connect, and of course it still works. It's great, right? It's awesome. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're going to um, click on ports, right? And you see here, UR3, just turn that off, okay? You can screenshot it, save it. If it doesn't work for you, this way you can restore the defaults, okay? And then turn on UR6, okay? So that takes care of that. Um, save and reboot, because each one you want to save, because I don't think it saves it every time uh, if, we, if we left this particular part. Okay, so let that save, let that reboot, let that do everything it needs to do. And once it connects, um, you'll see it connect. And now what we're gonna do is, um, hmm, interesting. Oh, it says fail to open serial port. Hopefully nothing bad happened again. Um, that's a bad sign when it says fail, but we'll find out in a second. Connect, yep, this is great. Okay, all right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into receiver because you want the controller to work. All right, right there. And see where it says here, receiver, serial via UART. We're going to select, whoop, we're gonna deselect that. Uh, we're gonna change this, we'll take a screenshot in case we have to put things back. Right, all righty, and do that. And, and instead of this, the CRSF, we're gonna change that to, to sub US, okay? So we're gonna change that to sub, sub bus, okay? SB US, okay? And then we're gonna save and reboot. Okay. And that's it. So now we're gonna plug in the, um, plug everything in and hopefully it takes, if I can just find the remote, ah, the remote's charging. Uh, and then we'll see you on the next half. Okay, so you're not gonna see me for the next part of this video because I'm gonna walk you through everything and this way you can see everything, right? That's on the screen. Um, I'm just gonna make it wider for you without any interruptions, okay? So launch beta flight. When you launch it, you're going to click connect. There you go. And just double check everything. See the drone's working, which is great. It, 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 it responds to the axis. We're gonna, we're gonna start from the top and just simply work our way down so that you can just copy the settings, okay? All right, so we're gonna go to ports. All right, so we have that here. Remember, we should have this. You have your UART4, remember we shut that off, right? No, and then that, now we activate it UART6. So we turned off three, and then we have UART6. Just leave it like that. Make, just if you're, you're confused, just I'll pause the video, and then just copy these settings, okay? Configuration, don't go there, just skip it. Power and battery. Um, this is interesting, but we'll probably do this another time because the device does get hot and overheat and there might be a solution to that. Presets, don't touch it. PID, don't touch it. Uh, you might have a warning there, right? Um, to avoid flyaways, etc. Receiver. All right, so this is where we are. Um, we'll do this part next because y you're going to have to bind everything and we haven't bound any anything yet. Um, but we'll do that just to make sure it's working before you take off. All right, so here you go, mode, okay? These are your mode settings. So you can pause the video, copy these, 
um, aux to his arm, and it stops right about there. Uh, I could move this a little bit to 1600, and then just click save. Yeah, just, just more for the uh, cosmetic feature. Okay. Um, or maybe that is the range, right? Just leave that right there, and press save. Okay. So that's it. And if you, if you don't see this, right, what you'll do is, I'll just delete that. Remember, it's uh, aux 2. Okay? See, there's nothing here. Like, well, I don't know what I'm looking at. That's okay. What you're going to do is you're going to add range. And remember, you click from auto. It was aux 2. And right about there to there. It was like, eh, maybe like 1600. It's fine. It'll still work. And the same thing with ang angle. Okay, angle is just beginner mode. All right, and then you have Horizon, which is really advanced. Um, if you're watching this video, you're not there yet. Okay, and Motors. Just leave it. Don't touch it. OSD. All right, so here's the tricky part. All right, so you're going to, I'm going to walk you through these settings. So um, you select what you want to see. This is what I want to see, okay? So you're going to have to decide what you want. For me, this works best. For example, look, I chose battery usage uh, percentage remaining. See, it's not there anymore. It just says low voltage. But now, um, if I go here, right, and there it is. And that's where I want it. You could move these around to your likings. There's no, oh, you got to put it there because you can't see the voltage and angle, you know, your, your mode at the same time. No, you put it wherever you want. Okay, it's up to you. And has if you want to add more, that's great. I also put the um, signal uh, and also the uh, the temperature of the, the the unit since it does get hot, and you got to know when to turn back because um, if the unit gets too hot, it's going to shut off, and then wherever you are, the drone's going to fall from the sky. Why? I don't know. It just that just happens. Fly mode, as you can see, I'll deactivate that so you can see. That was over here. That just tells you which mode you're in. And, and it's really important to know which mode you're in, okay? Whether you're in angle, horizon, etc. All right? So um, there it is right there. All right? And, you know, you figure out which mode works best for you. And, of course, link quality. I just chose that. Um, but most likely you have the link set up by default so you don't really need that because you'll see the goggle link and all the other links from dji as if you were flying the abata okay and then just the warnings remember you decide what what you want to see here and this is what i chose for now i might save it um if, you know i'll save it i might change it later okay video format just make sure hd is selected for me, I chose Imperial. You you know, you might like metric or British. Again, these are all a preference for what works well for you. And, you know, you can turn on and play with this part here and, and decide, you know, whatever. All right, so video transmitter. Leave it. Just don't touch it. Um, LED strip. Leave it. Leave this. And, you know, if, if you're having trouble seeing anything, you can, um, N-O-T-E-S, I actually copied some, um, you can copy that code that's in the description, and then put it in, right, and then press save, that's if you don't see anything, it won't do any damage, of course it's saved, it's going to reboot, see it says right there on, on the top left hand corner, save successfully and close, that's what you want to see. When it crashes and you have an error, then you've got some serious problems. And there we are. We're back where we were. See that? And that's it. And then we, if we go back to ports, um, there was... Oh, you want to make sure that whatever port you are, you're connected to by default, that you see that. VTX, right? Uh, MSP, display port. And that should make sure you see everything in your goggles. Okay? And, of course, I didn't make any changes, so there's no need to save and reboot. Um, and on that note, now let's sync everything. So for this next part of the video, you're going to need something sharp. It doesn't have to be this. It can be anything that you can use to poke the um, side of the OS 3 unit. Your battery, fully charged. It's got to be charged. Your remote control, right? And the goggles. 
All right, so what you're going to do is to bind everything. Um, well, actually, to make sure everything took, right, you want to make sure everything actually works. So to bind the goggles with the O3 air unit, you're going to see it's flashing. It's looking. It's like, I can't find it. Where is it? Well, what you're going to do is you're going to just be careful not to touch anything. It gets hot. Really. And remember, you got to do this fast because you don't want the unit to overheat, right? So the, as you can see, it's not on. So what you're going to do is, remember, you don't have a lot of time between, you, you might not be able to fly it because the device, the O3 unit might be too hot. So then you just wait, but at least you want to set everything up. All right, so it's going to turn on. See that? So you want to poke a hole in there. Not, I mean, not poke a hole in it. You want to just basically right next to it, there's a little hole and you press it. See that? Now it's flashing. So you're going to take this, press it down, just press it, don't shut it off. And now it's just looking. Where are you? I can't find you. And you'll know when it shuts off. See? It's bound to that. Now, with the goggles, so we're just going to put this on the side. See? Light's green. Something similar. You're going to turn it on. Looks like the battery's running low. And hold the power, let it flash. Whoops, hold the power button, let it flash. Wait, wait for it. There we go. And looks like it already bound. Usually there's a beeping sound, like it'll just say, hey, where are you? I'm looking for you. Let me see if it actually worked. Yep, it worked. All right, so you don't really you hold it until it starts beeping, but it looks like it, it bound to it. All right, so now I'm going to go into the goggles, um, and let's see. All right, so now I'm in the goggles. You can see you don't see anything. You're like, wait, where are the, all, the, all that stuff? Um, the metrics. So what you're going to do is you're going to go into here, go into settings, and then go to, whoops, um, go into display, and see where it says canvas mode? Normal, you're going to select it and press HD and then go back, go back, go back, and voila. See, the core temperature is when I, I needed the temperature. And of course, I, you know, I chose the other metrics for the battery 0%. Oh, I can always reverse that. Uh, and then you see which mode, angle mode, which is supposed to be beginner mode. Okay, and horizon, which will allow you to do flips. Oh, actually, let's see if it works. Okay. So let's see if I press the button, horizon, nice, and acro, which is, yeah, I'm not, you got to be really advanced to fly acro. So horizon and angle. So leave it there at angle, right? And of course to arm, um, it shouldn't arm, but I'll just move out of the way. Let's see. Mm. Nope, nothing, but most likely you'd see it on the computer, okay? So I'm gonna take this remote and let's see, in the metrics and let's say uh, ports, okay? And configuration, and then you have power. I'm just running them down slowly. Normally it's you would go to receiver. I'm just going down the list slow since you're new at this receiver, okay? See that, look at that. Ooh, look at that, the drone actually works. I can fly, I can flip. Amazing. All right, so we know it's working, right? Um, so there's nothing to change except how do we put the drone back? So you, you just so you're flying it. You're like, and this is remember, this is an angle mode. Angle mode. You want to do really slow moves. See, look at that. Really slow. I'm flying. Look at. See, it's sensitive too. This is basically how I'm. I'll, I'll show you here on my hands. Look at that. And watch the screen really slow and if I go like that forget it so that's how you're gonna fly okay so I'm gonna put it back really so it's gentle movements that's how sensitive this thing is that's why you, and you, you'll see some videos of those guys are just doing that like like really just tapping it tap 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 and so you know it takes practice I wouldn't recommend launching this in, in whoops see that I wasn't was just just one slight, just one slight jerk and the whole thing just loses control. All right, so that's that. That's that. So now it's bound. Everything works. 
um, let's take this thing outside, okay? And remember, before you do anything, um, let's say you want to take it outside, you feel confident and you're ready, um, you're going to disconnect it. So to disconnect it, you're just going to disconnect from here just to play it safe, okay? Um, and then we're going to pull that out, the USB adapter, and then we're going to pull this out, this connector. Um, keep this handy with you while you're flying because if you crash, you know, you might have to reset. Or just keep it handy because sometimes things don't bind the way they do, okay? And then we're going to see if we, oh, see this part right here? Kind of want the battery not protruding out, so you just wrap it around if yours is like that, like that, like mine. Um, and let's see if this goes right in. You got to be careful with these things too, because remember, this battery is flammable. So if you puncture it and crash really hard, it could, wow, it's hot, it could explode. Um, so you just be careful how you land this thing. Do your first test flight um, on a grassy area, flat, maybe some AstroTurf, not too high in the grass. So a lot of stuff doesn't get jammed in the blades. But look at that. You did it. All right. There's your... Pavo Pico, Pico Paco. Um, yeah, and you know, make sure you take that sticker off. And um, let's let's uh, yeah, let's take this outside. I would do it inside, but it's so sensitive, as you saw with the controllers, that you can just go flying up into the ceiling. Okay, so now that you have your drone started up, you want to make sure that this part is under there, so it doesn't accidentally go into the propellers. Um, you you know, there's it's pretty unconventional, but you'll figure it out what works, but you don't want to ruin the propellers. All right, so now I'm going to start everything up, um, hopefully. We'll have a different experience. I'm going to put on the goggles. Um, maybe maybe the drone needs to be flown with the goggles on um, to have a full FPV experience without having to figure out left is right and right is left. Okay. All right, so it seems everything has sunk. Now I got to turn on the this, so this will sync. Headphones just beeped. Um, headset, I mean, just beeped. So let's see, just wait for it. And you have to do this fast because otherwise that thing's going to overheat and then shut off and you limit your flight time. And it will fall from the sky. Okay. All right. So let me just get into position. Nice. We're at 133. You guys will see this later, the temperature. Once the temperature reaches 150, um, the drone is gone. It's pretty much overheated and you, you have to, um, you know, just take it from there. All right, so let's see. Uh, we're gonna arm it. Arm, wow, 142. Temperature jumps really fast. 138. Whoa. Whoa. Whoops. All right. This is great. Just remember when you're flying to be cautious because this thing is like a ticking time bomb. Uh, if it hits something really sharp, with the battery you know it can explode um, the only downside is that it overheats uh, really fast and so you could be 200 feet up or 300 feet up in the air and as soon as it overheats you see the temperature 135 which is great it usually starts around 120 when you're flying but once it reaches around 157 that's it the unit will shut off so if you're 200 feet 300 feet up in the air it's just going to drop from the sky so even though it does meet the rate requirements um, to fly over people i wouldn't recommend it because um, once the unit is hot, it's shot, you know, if that makes any sense. Uh, but it's a fun experience. This is a fun drone and it brings you deeper into the um, hobby and understanding and in depth of what actually goes on in building the drone, configuring it and the metrics and this and that. Um, and, and, and just taking things to another level, not just flying, you know, you, 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 you have a more uh, understanding. But all that aside, you know, um, thanks for being part of this series uh, and, and thanks for watching. I, I appreciate this. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below or ideas for other videos. And I'll see you all next time.